on the previous video I had shown you how to load up the kit for Creative Couture for Adobe Illustrator and now I'm going to show you how easy it is to do some of the effects like you see here and on the display image. So to start off with I have got uh, some of the basic shapes like you see on here and I want to add some of the effects and as I mentioned um, if you uh, click on any of the effects directly they're going to be in gold so that's kind of cool and we've got uh, so many different collections um, it's the caviar um, deeply encrusted just got like a lot of cool different things and um, but on to the d demo um, the first thing I'm going to show you is um, you just select select any object and okay actually first thing I want to tell you is after you've loaded up obviously you're going to want to be having your uh, workspace set up so that you can see your actions you can see um, you know handy whatever collections you might want to use your swatch panel obviously having preloaded those VIP ones over here in that that swatch area and then one thing that you're going to want to make friends with that you might not normally use is the appearance panel. And this is what allows us to put the textures onto your objects as well as a color layer over it so that you can really instantly colorize them. So I am going to select a layer. And what's cool about this and the series of actions is, is that you could kind of pre-color your items or you can take say something you get from a stock website that already has color and put the texture on it while keeping that color and yet it's still editable so I'll show you what I mean because normally that's how we work you know you have got something like this that you have made up and now like hey I want to make this a little bit of a jeweled effect I want to make some glitter here um, etc etc so I'm going to select one of the borders and I'm going to just uh, I'm going to run my, let's see here, I'll run my Pave collection action. And I will show um, tell you that any of these collections actions that you run, it doesn't really matter which one you run um, because it's going to set it up in the same way so that you could change your texture at any time. So I'm going to take the Pave collection, have my item selected, and this is very key. Over in the appearance panel, just make sure that you've selected this fill layer um, and that's going to make sure that the action run properly. And it's one little step. It, it might be something that you need to um, kind of get used to doing, but it's going to allow you to do these um, really cool effects. It's easily. So um, it, 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 it's just really, it's a really good thing. So you do that, you press play, and it's going to put the texture. Um, if you look at your appearance panel, you've got your base fill layer. You've got your gold pattern layer over it in a luminosity setting so that you can so that the color is still the base. And now you can change that texture to whatever you want. But you see how easy that was. It's really great. And um, you don't have multiple items. You don't have multiple layers. It's all within that single um, layer. So I have that selected. And now you can just select your fill layer here. And with that selected, you can change it and um, just select the different uh, swatches here and just change it just that easily. No double clicking. All you have to do is just have that fill layer selected um, with the pattern on it and uh, just go through your swatch panels and find one that you like. So I'm going to leave it there on Pave 5 and now I'm going to do it again so that you can uh, make sure that you see how it's done. So I just simply select that layer. Um, I make sure that I've got that fill layer selected on the appearance. I got the pave action and I hit play. And you see how it just does that for me? So now my fill layer is still selected there and I'm going to go through my pave and find the same one so that it looks the same on the top and the bottom. And what's cool is that uh, you can change the color at any time. So if I click here on the fill layer, that's going to pop up my color here, and I could just change that a bit if I like. So click OK, 
and well you can't really see it's because it's the same tone but I will just click on this maybe I'll make it pink click OK and now you see it's got the pink base um, so you can change that base color anytime as well as the fill without having uh, layers and all this complicatedness so it's a really really great way to take advantage of these raster textures and um, you know just make these beautiful effects without uh, I really enjoy the raster layers because um, the raster texture layers within Illustrator because if you made something like this in all in vectors that would be really complicated and uh, it could really bog down your program so I really enjoy this and I'm just I I'm so stoked at figuring out how to do that <laughs> actually so I'm going to show you some more things now um, we're just going to do the same thing. I'll do jeweled collection. I'm going to do the same thing with these layers here, but I want them to be kind of a blue base. So I'm just going to select that and run my jeweled action. Now may, I'm going to make sure that I click the fill layer and run my jeweled action. And there we go. I'm going to have a nice jeweled thing. Um, and if you want them in the, like the jeweled in the black and white, you can just change start with a black color base or I think a white works as well um, and then run your jeweled collection action and then that's going to be like without color um, but I actually want to change the fill I want it to be a blue base so it looks really cool so I just over on the appearance get that base color layer and uh, it's going to make it like a blue I guess I could use my pointer and save myself a little trouble. Sometimes I forget that kind of stuff. So I'm going to do the same thing on this. And actually, I will show you a, an example of what not to do because I just selected this, but I didn't make sure that my fill layer is double is um, selected over in the appearance panel. So if I run my jeweled action, well. That one worked out all right but sometimes it doesn't so I just tell you to make sure that's fill layer selected because otherwise it could create a, like a little bit of an issue um, and I'm gonna make this blue and then I'm gonna run my jeweled action and there we go and just like I showed you before I can select this object go into that fill the pattern layer there and you don't have to double click or anything you just have to touch it and then I can go through and play with um, some of my selections here. So it's really so easy and you could just cruise through your panels and find one that you like. I think I'll do a pause, well, nope. That just shows you I had didn't have my right layer selected. So say I'm wanting to change this pattern like I've selected that there. I just gotta make sure that I'm touching the right layer here. The pattern one not the color one because um otherwise it's just going to put another pattern on that layer so just think of it as like you've got this different um like two different layers within that shape so it's really it's really kind of neat so i'm just going to touch that fill layer and then i'll play grab a pave pattern here and just um enjoy it so you can have all these really amazing effects right in illustrator that you might not have been able to think that you would have gotten before and the la one of the last things that I want to show you is that, uh, well, the one of the most important things I want to show you is doing it on a text layer. Because you can do it on a text layer, the text will still be editable, but there's a very important um, process that you have to do for text. And once you learn it, it's super easy. So I've got my text layer here. But if you notice here over in the appearance, we don't see the same kind of fill layer. And um, it just shows default type characters. We need to have this. So I made a special action that's called prep type for action. And basically this is going to add a, uh, a new fill within the appearance panel. And this is going to make it possible to run these actions on text and make it editable. So all you do is you select your text layer. You select your prep type for action. You press play. And that is going to add you a fill layer there in your text. And that's key for the action. So now 
obviously it's going to change the color to black. So you just need to change your base color to whatever color you want. So now it looks like the other layers that we have. We've got that nice um, color fill layer over here in the appearance panel. And that's what we need to run the action. Now I can run the action. So now with that fill layer selected, I'm going to play rich glitter and sequins. And I'm going to push play. And it's going to run it. And uh, that's basically it. Same thing now. I can go over here, make sure that fill is selected. And let's find my rich glitter and sequins. Scroll through these. Um, bad boys. I should probably organize these a little bit better. But, uh, you know, I've got all the different ones here. And like I said before, on a lot of them, I make a dark one and a light one so that you can have the option without having to add different overlays and things like that. So um, I'm going to go down here and let's see here. I'm going to pick one of the dark ones because I want this red to be red to look really rich and lovely. Um, let's see here. What did we go here? All right. That's cool. 21, maybe 20. Now say I like this, but I'm going, hmm, I want it to be like the color to be a little bit darker, a little more intense. Well, um, I still uh, have another option, which I wrote in a little action for it. And it's really simple. So with that item selected, you want to make sure you've got your pattern layer selected right here in the appearance panel. And let's find this action here. And it is called intensify color and texture. So I just select that and I press play. And what that does is it added another fill overlay. So it's just like a little layer group within your thing. And it added a black fill layer. And I put the opacity to 75% overlay and you can actually just change that if you like as well and just um, play with the opacity. So it's kind of just bringing this, um, the same thing, the same kind of um, thing that we do with the layers in Photoshop over into Illustrator. And it's all within this appearance panel, which you might not normally be used to working in. And uh, let's see here. So let's run one more. So I'm going to show you just again how to do that on the text. Same thing. We don't have that fill layer over here, so we need to go prep type for the action and uh, press play. And then we're going to want to pick our color. Let's see here. Let's pick a nice color there. And now make sure that fill layer is uh, selected. And I'm just going to show you, I'm going to run, say, the deeply encrusted action and I'll push play. There we go. We've got that texture on there. And see, it didn't matter that we ran the deeply encrusted layer because I just um, touched this pattern here and I can just go back to the glitters or whatever it is that I wanted to. That looks great. I like that. So um, I think that's the basics. And I think I will make a separate video to show you some of the overlay options, but I want to try to keep these short. Um, so that is the basics. I think it's pretty easy. And then as you see, once you kind of get the hang of it, it's just um, really easy for all those people that like to do work with an illustrator. It just puts all these gorgeous, lush, beautiful patterns at your fingertips in illustrator. Um, so you don't have to go over to Photoshop. So I hope you enjoy that and uh, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I actually have a lot of different exciting things going on. Um, my main thing that I want to do soon is I'm going to make a blog, um, a new site just for my creative market products because I want one central place. Like I have my YouTube, I have my Instagram, but I want one place where people that buy my products can go to get all of my tips and tricks and tutorials and stuff because um, there's a lot of things that I like to show people and I don't want to just sell you the product, but I just want to um, help you make really cool designs and, you know, maybe do some of the effects that you can't get that you're, you see in my display images. So I just want to share all that with you. Um, so down below in the link, actually in the description, I'm going to put a link to my uh, mailing list.